Next, I'd like to invite to, to bring greetings on behalf of the province of Alberta, provided by mm -hmm. Heather Klimchuk, the Honourable Heather Klimchuk, who represents the Minister of uh, is the Minister of Culture, rather, and represents the riding of Edmonton Glenora. Please come on up, and thank you for being here. I'm hugging everyone today because it's a daughter who thinks to do. <laughs> Thank you very much, Portia. It's wonderful to be here today on this beautiful Alberta day. It's not fall yet, just remember. And welcome all of you to the inaugural celebration of Daughters' Day. Uh, it's my pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the Government of Alberta and my fabulous Premier, Premier Redford, uh, who is celebrating here today with her daughter, Sarah. So thank you so much for being here today. And on this day, 107 years ago, Alberta formally became a province, but long before there was Alberta, there the woman who helped shape Alberta, First Nations, Métis and Inuit women, and early pioneer wives and daughters who helped transform wilderness into communities. Alberta is also proud to call the famous five our own, five strong female leaders who at the end of the 1920s, during a time of uncertainty, helped guarantee that women across Canada had a voice, not only in the direction of their communities, but also in the directions as a nation. Now today, Alberta women of all ages continue to shape our communities in boardrooms and classrooms, through local organizations and political platforms at home and abroad, and of course, our first female Premier, Premier Redford. The creative and innovative and essential roles women have played within our communities across the province are so diverse as the women who fill them. But still, Daughters' Day reminds us that alongside the opportunities, there are challenges for women within our ever-changing world and women within Alberta as well. So therefore, we must remain very vigilant. We must remain committed to ensuring all daughters have the same opportunities that allow them to have a voice, help shape their communities, pursue their dreams, be treated as equals, and always, always empower everyone around you and be free from the fear and violence and discrimination in their homes, communities, and workplaces. I am so proud to have my mother here today, Drina. Drina, wave your hand. There's my mom. She, everything she taught me is everything I use today as an elected official. She taught me respect for all, listening, being positive and giving back, and by volunteering, which all of you do, and uh, being a mentor. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as a daughter and a very proud mother of a, of, uh, of a daughter, Kirsten, who couldn't be here today, I would like to extend my thanks to the organizing committee for ensuring we take at least a day to remember and celebrate the woman who've helped shape our lives and build our communities. Special thanks to Mr. Badia. He is just an incredible, incredible... <laughs> He, when he first talked to me about this probably a year ago, I thought, wow, I thought, why haven't we done this before? So thank you to him and, of course, all of the organizing community committee So for ensuring that we take every opportunity to remember, guide, and support the women and daughters who help shape the future of our communities and our province. Thank you very much.